Father and glory to you, Hawa Basham, Shai, Basham, Kakodash, and double other city apostles. The apostles and elders of great millstone that rule well, so blessed to see them. Right on this year, our man of great millstone camp in Trinidad. Coming back to do another lesson. <coughs> Should you the spirit and power of your Baba Shem and Shai? And um, you know this lesson, the title that come to me the other day. We is like, we are like, um, we, we are like patient. Nocturnals, all right, because if, if you do history and if you don't know who Nocturna is, uh, Nocturna was a, a slave, all right. They, they never um, know who he was because he saw never speak on who he, he was as, as much. He never talked about him as much because. His rebellion was biblically connected, so to speak. His rebellion wasn't of a um, just because he was upset, and he, he was upset that his he being a rebel to this oppression was more biblically driven. In the Bible, he, he acted prematurely the exact vengeance on Amalek, which is the head tribe of the Edomites, which is the Jays in the land of Israel today. Um, Natuna was a slave, all right. Just like, um, just because he wanted to, according to him, he got a, a basically a revelation, so to speak, on, on that you have to you know, that the Edomites are these white people who have been slavery, and we are the children of Israel. And what he did, he went on a rampage, and he, he had some. Impatiently, which we will get that day very soon. And in coming, but we, we are patient not to us because this is what the law says concerning Amalek, right? Exodus chapter 17. I read from it says, Then came Amalek and fought with Israel and refined him. And Moses said unto Joshua, Choose us out men, and go out to fight with Amalek tomorrow. I will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of the Mosa in my hand. So Joshua did as Moses had said to him, and fought with Amalek. And Moses, Aaron, and Hur went up to the top of the hill. Now I will jump down to verse 14. It says, And Yahweh Basham Yahushua said unto Moses, Write this for a memorial in your book and rehearse it in the ears of Joshua. Remembrance of Amalek from under heaven, and Moses built an altar and called the name of it Yahweh Nas Nasi, which is Yahweh is my banner. And for he said, because Yahweh Basham Yahushai had sworn that Yahweh Basham Yahushai will have war with Amalek from generation to generation, and Amalek is Edom. Amalek is Edom. Amalek is the grandson, the grand of great grand. This is the book of Genesis 36 and 12. It says, And Timnah was concubine to Eliphaz, Esau's son. Right, Eliphaz was Esau's son. She bear Eliphaz, Amalek. These were the sons of Ada, Esau's wife. Right. 
Amulet. Edomite. Edom run in the face of the earth today. Right? Edom. So Edom. The scripture says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Job chapter 9 and verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. There are not where and who is he. Nocturna was a slave. Good watching. Nocturna was a slave. And he been in slavery. Bible and the Heavenly Father opened his understanding to know that the Edomites are the ones who have us in slavery right now. Them is Amalek. And he went out on a rampage and killed. So 60 some of them dead, slave owners and what's not. They killed. to exact the judgment on Amalek before and then the Heavenly Father cut his own shit. But we will have that same day. We are just patient nocturnals. Because the same thing nocturnal wanted, the same punishment he wanted for the wicked. It's the same punishment we want for the wicked. The scripture says that we are going to have to say Wait here for one week Right in my car Where is it? Okay, my car chapter 6 No, 7, so that Wait in my car chapter mm -hmm. No, my car, no This is Zechariah I can have a good one too, but don't mind how I was thinking about it. Yeah. Seven and three and eight. It says, Therefore, wait ye upon me. Saith Yahweh Bashami, I'm shy until the day that I rise up to the prey. For I tell you, shall not gather the nations that I may have assembled the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be caught with the fire of my jealousy. See that? That is what we wait on. There is the patience and the faith of the saints. Because we do feel we are looking for what Nathan was looking for. It's just the Jake operated a little hasty. And I say mindset not to operate hasty but to see the vengeance upon the wicked. This is Revelation chapter 13, verse 9 says, If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. He is the patience and the faith of the saints. See? And who killed us with the sword? Amalek, and we, we just read, we just read about Amalek came out, came out, came out against Israel in Raphael with a sword and a, and a great company, and he started to kill. Uh, so that just that 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 years, that decades, that millenniums of time, for thousands of years, ago, that happened, and. He constantly came with that sword against us and there was nothing done to him in a big way. We basically as the scripture say bow down that they may and we gave our body
it's too short but I will make that Sons have fainted, they lie at the head of all the streets as a wild bull in a net. They are full of the fury of their own. The like it says in Genesis 6 and trembling even the dregs of the cup of my fury thou shalt no more drink it again but I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee which have said unto thy souls bow down that we may go over and thou hast laid thy body as the ground and as the street to them that went over me in the So don't feel that alright, you get it, you kill Nathana, Nathana was a Jake who came from a biblical point of view that the punishment have to be exacted upon the wicked. But he was just a little hasty. We not hasty. We waited. Patiently for we Lord Yahweh Shami Shai to come. And when he does come, all your fears will be brought before your face. You either might. All your fears will be brought before your face. Easy book I wrote, and I'll get this, this precept real quick. I'll read the last precept here. Romans 12. And, um, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, right? But that is what he did. He tried to avenge himself. But rather, for it is written, vengeance is mine. That is what the Lord say. I will repay. Say to our Basham Yosham, we wait to know our Lord to repay. Vengeance. Amalek. For the wickedness that he did unto the Lord's chosen. So yeah, hopefully with that you will edify until the next time official or until the elect. All praise to our Bashem and Shai.